Okay, remember this from now in this lesson. Today we are going to see the second case of how do we get the equation of a circle when we are given two end points of a diameter. Of course, you know a diameter is a line, but it's also called by the it's a line that joins two ends of the circumference of the circle passing through the center. So if we have a diameter, we are going to find the equation of a circle with the end points of a diameter A and B. So our diameter that is a diameter is ending at A and also at B. So in there, look at the equation of a circle, we need basically two things, the radius and also the center. Now, when you look here, if I have this, always my equation of the circle is x minus x squared, then plus y minus d squared equal to r. So all I need, I need the radius, r squared, I need the radius and a and b. So from a, because this is the diameter, you know that the center is always in the middle of the diameter. So the center is the middle point over the diameter. So from here, my center is going to be, I add x1 plus x2 over 2, comma, y1 plus y3 all over 2. So from there, this is all I'm going to be having. My center is going to be x1 is negative 3 plus then this and this. This is where my center is going to be. This is going to give me negative 1. Because this is negative 2 divided by 2, then this will be 6 divided by 2. It will give me 3. So now I have already my center. Now I'm missing the radius. The radius. For me, I know that this one is going to be now, this is my radius. So radius is going to be the distance CA. So my radius is going to be CA. This is the radius CA. I have my C as negative 1, comma, 3. Negative 1, 3. And my A is the point 1, comma, 2. So members, in some question, by the way, they will give you the center and they give you a point of the south, or the circumference of the south. Now this is the idea right here. We have this point, we have this, and now we have to get the radius of the south. So from here, distance between two points, we say x1 minus x2 squared. So this will be negative 1 minus 1 squared. Then plus y1 minus y2 squared. So from there, this is going to be a form. Which will be square root of this is two squared or last this is one square. So that my radius is going to be root five units. So after getting that radius, now I come and substitute in this equation of the sum. I'm going to have x, y, and that's b. So square is r squared. So you see that my a, if I compare my a, is now negative. So I have now plus 1, the whole square then plus, my b is 3, y minus 3, square equal to 2. When you square this radius, it's that you should be having now uh, 5, and that is the first approach. Remember, in the second approach, this is the first approach, just using this side. In the second approach, you see that we are going to use some properties of circles. So if you consider point at the circumference, if I bring this point like this and this like this, we say that this angle is 90 degrees using properties of the sum that angle something from the center. From the center is always this angle at the circumference is always half the angle at the center. So if this is A, this is one A, this is one A. Mean that this one is going to be 90 degrees using that idea of property of circles. So, but you see that this one and this one is going to be, they are going to be perpendicular. So, P, B, and P, B, and P, A are perpendicular. Meaning that the gradient, the gradient, grad of B, P, the line then times the gradient of PA is negative one from the angle that 
the visualizes their gradient into your rays and then that is one. So now I get a gradient of PD. Now PD from here, this is my term and set. Now y minus 4, the all over x minus minus of x minus minus 3. This is the gradient of this line PD. When I come down to this, I'm multiplying them. I have y minus 2, the all over x minus 1. This will be negative 1. We said that I'm going to be able to expand. I have y minus 4 into y minus 2. The all over now, we have x plus 3, x minus 1, equal to negative 9. Let us expand here. We have y squared minus 6y plus 8 equal to negative 1. If we expand here, we have x squared plus 2x minus 3. Then after expanding, we just multiply. So when I open the brackets, I have y squared minus 6y plus 8 equal to negative x squared minus 2x then plus 3. When I take everything this way, I have x squared plus y squared then plus 2x then when I take this, this will be negative 6y Take this and be having plus 5 equal to 2 and 0. And this is the equation of the circle. So these are these are the same. When they expand this, I'm sure we are going to be adding something like that. So remember, this, that's how you get that equation of the circle. I wish you the best. This is the first approach. This is the second approach. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.